Good morning kids. Welcome back to your English class. So you all know your test 3 exams are beginning soon, isn't it? Yes. So come let's do revision for it. So kids, let's begin with section A. Section A is of picture comprehension. A picture will be given to you like this and then few questions related to the picture will be asked to you. So kids, what can you see in the picture? We can see that there is a girl who is watering the plants and there are few butterflies which are flying nearby. So come let's see few questions related to the picture. The first question is how many children are there in the picture? I repeat how many children are there in the picture? So we had seen that there was just one girl who was watering the plants. So what will be the answer for this question? The answer will be 1. Students, you can write the complete sentence also that there is one child in the picture or you can give the answer in one word also. Like ma'am has written only one. So this is also accepted. And in case if you don't know the spelling of uh, one, then you can even write the digit for it. Fine. So now let us move to the second question. So the second question is, how many butterflies are there in the picture? So let's see the picture once again. So how many butterflies are there? One, two and three. So the answer for this question will be three butterflies. Now let's move to the next question. The next question is, what is the girl doing in the picture? So kids, we had already seen that the girl was watering the plants. So the answer will be watering the plants. So kids, in picture comprehension, the picture may vary, the questions may vary, but the method is same. You have to see the picture and then you have to answer the given questions. Now let's move to section B, which is of grammar. In this section, the questions will be asked from the chapter articles. So come, let's quickly revise articles. So kids, when do we use a? We use a with the words having consonant sounds. Example, a bat, a hat, a tap. Now kids, when we have already seen where do we use a? Come, let's see where an is used. We use an with words having a vowel sound. Example, an aeroplane, an I. So just like this, few more words are given to you and you have to fill a or an. So the first word is star. What will we use with star? A or an? We will use a. Why? Because the first sound is a consonant sound. So the next word is goat. So kids, what will we use with goat? Yes, we will use a again. So the answer will be a goat. The next word is pen. What will we use with pen? A or an? Yes. The answer will be a pen. Now next word is angel. Now this time we can hear a vowel sound. So we will use an this time. An angel. Let's move to the next word now. Which is umbrella. Again we can hear a vowel sound. So what will we use? We will use an again. An umbrella. Let's see one more. So, tell me kids, what will we use with kangaroo? What can you hear? A consonant sound or a vowel sound? Yes, it's starting with K. So, we can hear a consonant sound. And with consonant sound, what do we use? We use a. So, the answer will be a kangaroo. Now, let's move to the next section that is of literature. Now, this section will contain questions from the chapter, A Greedy Rich Man. 
So let's see what all do we have over here. So the first exercise is fill in the blanks. Now in this man has given you few incomplete sentences. Why is man saying incomplete? Because man has drawn few dashes in between. Okay. And whatever you think fits here. You will write that word and you will complete the sentence. Fine. So the first sentence is his daughter dashed to him excitedly. So what will be the answer over here? His daughter ran to him excitedly. Dash her father's joy. So what will come over here in the second blank? Seeing her father's joy. So the complete sentence will be his daughter ran to him excitedly seeing her father's joy. Now the next sentence is the rich man and his wife dash. So the answer will be they cried. So the rich man and his wife cried but their daughter did not dash. But their daughter did not move. So kids, I am sure that now it is clear to you that how will we complete fill in the blanks. So let's quickly move to the next exercise that is word meanings. Now what you have to do in this, see few words will be given to you and then you will have to write its meaning. So the word given over here is scooped. So kids, what do you think this word scooped means? The meaning of the word scooped is to pick or move something up. So I hope now you will be able to do the word meanings. Fine. So the next exercise is write true or false. Now this is again very easy exercise. Yes. Few sentences are given to you in this. And uh, you have to decide that whatever is written in the sentence. Is it correct or is it wrong? Yes. You have to decide that is this only written in the chapter or not if you think that the sentence is correct you will write true and if you think that the sentence is incorrect then you will write false so the first sentence is even though he was a rich man he always wanted more money and more wealth is it correct yes we had read this in the chapter that the man was rich but still he wanted more money and more wealth. So the answer for this sentence will be true. Now let's see the next sentence. The next sentence is the rich man did not realize his folly. So is the sentence correct? Had we read in the chapter that the rich man had not realized his folly? No. The rich man had realized his folly and he was never greedy again. Yes, so this sentence is false. So now let's move to the last part which is answer the following questions. So few questions will be given to you and you will have to answer them. So the question given to you over here is what happened when the rich man bent down to pick his daughter in his arms? So kids, what had you read in the chapter? What happened when the rich man bent down to pick his daughter in his arms? The answer to this question is, As soon as the rich man bent down and picked up his daughter, she turned into a gold statue. So just like this, whatever question is asked to you from the chapter, you will answer it and I'm sure you all will do very good in your test. So wishing all my lovely babies all the best. So kids, this is all for today. Till the time we meet next, take care, stay happy and stay healthy. All the best for your exams.